Don't call us, we'll call you. That's essentially what a webhook is. In a previous video, I talked about how to do Stripe checkouts. The idea there was go through, do a checkout, and then afterwards assume that it was successful. What we're going to talk about today is how to set up a webhook within Bubble and how to connect that from Stripe and get it all working together. But the idea now is once I make the payment, I want to check to say that it is uh, successful or not. Inside my plugins, I have get payment intent here. And inside payment intent, there is a property in here that tells whether it was successful or not. So if you retrieve it and then you check for status, if it's succeeded, then you know that that transaction with this payment ID uh, would be all good and successful. The problem with using the payment intent is that where are you going to put this? Are you going to put this right after the call or are you going to do it when the page refreshes? But it's a little bit tricky on how to do that. The opposite to the way to do this is to use webhooks. So within webhooks, if you go into your API sections of within settings and you click on enable workflow and backend uh, workflows, you click that. What that gives you is this access to backend workflow. So I'm going to create a new API workflow and this workflow will be Stripe checkout. Yeah. And expose. Yeah. And then we're going to detect requests. Before we click on uh, detect data, we're actually going to go into Stripe. And in Stripe, we're going to configure the webhook. So I'm in, in the developers area. And within the developers, there is this webhooks area. So I'm going to add a new endpoint. So um, I'm going to grab detect data. I'm going to click this. So right now, it's just listing. So I'm going to set up my endpoint URL. Uh, and I'm going to select a certain few events. The ones we're interested in, in is checkout. So I'm going to use completed. Yeah. So there's that. And cool. So I'm going to add that as a local endpoint. There should be a way to say cool test, test this webhook. I don't see that. So I'm just going to test it myself. I'm just going to go through a checkout flow and hopefully that will trigger. Uh, I'm just gonna, just gonna change the price here to $20. Uh, no, that's cool, that was successful. So this thing here is actually from that transaction that just happened right there. So the inside here would have all the information of payment ID, payment intent, so PI, 3Ks, something like that, and a success, success status, payment status paid, which is good, oh, status complete, uh, so, so that's what I was kind of looking for. So we can save that. So once you're ready to get this uh, working in production, what you're supposed to do is then update these details to just remove the initialized part. This workflow can be run without authentication. So that is something that we need to check. So now inside here, I would then update my data. So make changes to a thing. So the thing that I want to change here is do a search for the type of it is transaction. In your world, it may be payment or something like that. So here I would say where payment ID is equal to. So what I'm looking for, payment ID intent. Look for that. Close. First item. And then we're going to change the status to be equal to this thing's status. Then you can send an email or send an alert to say like, yep, um, payment completed. At least that gives you some feedback in the system without you needing to go to the system. So I'll just send a quick email to myself. Uh, send email. Uh, oh, Jennifer, I'm going to call him. Send a name. Stop. Oh, stop it. 
system, whatever transaction status, and then inside here, I'm going to but for the sake of this example, I'm going to say sets. Um, I'll probably put more stuff in here, so I'll just put some more dynamic data. And I'm going to put an payment ID to set an I of some kind of variable, just to show that it works. Right. Uh, so let's see if this works. So we'll put $40. Check out. Yes, I put four for me. Um, okay, let's put this. So that's paid, that's successful. Let's go to our webhook. We can see we should have got so that one's successful. We can look inside here. Probably got a bubble, so it's complete. So th that means if I go into my data now, I have this and I have my status as complete. So that's full circle how everything would work.